Hey guys, me MD, it's good to see you all again. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's been a while. I don't know what else to tell you. So, you know what I've been doing? I've been very busy lately. I haven't been able to get videos out. I've just been very tired as well because I do not sleep very well, which just causes me to push through the day and just use up whatever energy I have staying awake and then trying to go to bed. Not doesn't work out too well. And, um, the result, of course, is just me being super tired, but anyway, let's sit down and talk for a little bit, you know? Sorry if you can hear my chair as I lean back, and I'm sorry if you're going to hear me drink, because I'm going to drink my Stewart's fantastic drink. I'm not getting sponsored. Sponsor me. Delicious. Black cherry, my favorite. Uh, anyway, so by now, you know, Ebola's in the U.S. and stuff like that. We're not here talking about this. Uh, just talk about... Not even gaming I'm talking about, although he was in video games. Uh, Derek Jeter retired recently over the weekend. And it's kind of weird. For a guy like myself who has grew up with Derek Jeter as his role model, his icon, his, his big guy in the sky, you know? Such a amazing player, just gone. He's not dead, he retired, you know, but it's just still the same thing. Like, chapter closing in my life before my own eyes. Like, right now, my wallpaper is the, uh, the Respect RE2, the number two that he wears on his back, P-E-C-T, and sometimes it's another image of him running onto the field for the last time at Yankee Stadium. It's just a really somber moment for me, personally, just to see that and be a part of this, I guess you can say. <coughs> <laughs> Stewart's. <laughs> and, you know, as someone who's always tried to be like Derek Jeter, and I failed miserably at that, let me tell you what, because you cannot just be Derek Jeter. Insert the uh, the meme. One does not simply be Derek Jeter. That stupid guy with the sword or whatever. No, that guy who's like pointing, like in front of his face with a beard. <laughs> and, you know, I've always just tried to base the way I play off him. It's like the way he moves, the way he bats. Like I have a, sim I shouldn't say a similar swing because you cannot replicate that inside-out swing. Such a strange swing he does. It's really something though. Really productive as well. You know what? If you can get around on it, whatever works for you. You know, like kind of my stance was always kind of after him. This not very wide stance. Maybe like to the shoulders where your feet are. Your feet are lined up with your shoulders almost. Maybe just a little bit wider. Lean on the back foot a little bit, have the front leg out, but not too far, but not too far. And although I didn't play shortstop, I enjoyed playing infielders. All right, I, I'm a catcher. Well, was a catcher. Playing to maybe be a catcher again someday. And um, not being able to do it for the past two years really uh got me down, got me annoyed because injuries came back and got me. I think I talked about this in the uh, the one update video with Iron Man. You know um. That, that was also a while ago. Whoops. I'm putting like two weeks between every video. This might be, even be going to three weeks now. I don't know. It depends on how I get this out. Which this will get out. Um, what have I been up to? I'm very busy. Like I said, um, what's coming ahead for the channel? I don't know. Honestly. I know I've been issued a challenge to play the worst Metal Gear game ever. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I have it. I test recorded it. <laughs> The the the, um, the audio died in game. It wasn't even the Elgato. It was just in game. It died. Like it lagged super hard. Like I, I played it a little bit, only to a certain point, and then stopped. I haven't touched it since. Waiting for that. Um, and for this challenge, just to do it, play it, and bitch about it because I have so many problems with that game. I despise it. And TGS just happened. And all this Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain news is coming out. Oh my god. Nerd porn. Holy crap, I love that game. I want it right now. <laughs> I, I wish there was a little more to Ground Zeroes. I really want more of that game. It's such a great game. I cannot praise it enough. It's the Metal Gear game I've been wanting to play. It's the Metal Gear game I want to play right now. It's the game I want to play forever. This game reminds me. This game reminds me of when I um, when I had like a PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, 
and those things didn't have like the internet access. Well, like, PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation 2 kind of did, but <sighs> excuse me, I didn't have like the Ethernet cable to do it, so I never did it. So I was always single player only. It's why, like now, I even say single player is better. I still love single player games. Only single player games. They're really great. Like Assassin's Creed doesn't need a single player. I mean multiplayer. I don't care for that. They don't need it. It was perfectly fine without it. Um, uh, Crash Bandicoot was great. The, I played a lot of sports games. I played a lot of NASCAR games. I played a lot of um, 2K sport, 2K baseball games. Now I have like MLB The Show. Play PlayStation 3. Oh, God, I remember him. All-Star Baseball, 2004, featuring Derek Cheater. That was one of my first baseball games I had. And I was on the PlayStation 2. I played the crap out of it. I loved that game to hell. And it had the, the Wrigley Field song from that one movie. I forget the movie. Uh, but it's such a great song to play on the intro. I mean, um, the, the menus it played. And then the, the, the game had like a, a video intro of baseball scenes and stuff. Had Derek Jeter diving into the stands, him hitting a home run. I think it was like Vlad Guerrero gunning a ball to the plate. Some insane catches and hits. All to the sound of um, All Star by Smash Mouth. And I was some people really take a dumps on that song, but that song, that was the song of my childhood. That was like the first song I knew, word for like word for word. Besides like Christmas songs. And uh, yeah, that I played the hell out of that game. The same thing like 2004, uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004. Same thing with that game. Played the hell out of it. Um, then PlayStation One way back when. It's kind of weird because when I was really young, I actually didn't play games. I actually watched my mother play games. She played games. She played them. She played Crash Bandicoot. She played Spyro. Then after a while, I started picking them up and I started playing them. I played Crash Bandicoot. I played Spyro. I played the Harry Potter games that were on. PlayStation 1, um, uh, God, so many games of PlayStation 1, Gran Turismo, the first Gran Turismo I had, Need for Speed 3, Most Wanted, or Hot Pursuit, I forget what it was called, I have that, I found that the other day, I was really happy to see that again, um, I also had a racing wheel, wheel that went with that game, oh my God, <laughs> uh, see, just, this is why I always kind of favored PlayStation, kind of weird you know because I always had this like this great sense of um fun games that were always on the PlayStation like I had an Xbox yeah sure I had like the first Xbox didn't buy it when it came out and stuff I got it maybe in like 09 I had it for a little bit didn't enjoy it I had like Splinter Cell Conviction or whatever the hell it was on it I have bl that reminds me I have Splinter Cell Blacklist kind of sitting on my shelf over there I haven't finished it yet I have no idea how far I am through it but kind of just got bored with it See, that game did something with stealth that was good, but it was just boring. Then Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes came out, it did everything Blacklist kind of did, but better. Ten times better. Ground Zeroes is the definitive stealth game. Screw Thief, forget it, it's dumb. That game didn't do too well, if I remember correctly, the reboot or reboot or reimagining, I don't know what to call it. But the new Thief that came out... Like 2013 or whatever. It's not over yet. Did Guardians did far better than that. Yeah. God, I I had the the original Elder Song on PlayStation, but I didn't. It was like I was young. I didn't quite understand it. Oh yeah, that, that was a thing. I, I had like Disney games on my PlayStation. I had loads of games on my PlayStation One. And PlayStation Two came out. I had like Harry Potter, The Sorcerer's Stone, Prisoner of Azkaban. And then the Goblet of Fire came out. That wasn't too good. Um, whatever the hell the fifth one was. The fifth one was my favorite. I was playing that not too long ago. I was actually do playing it, playing it. Like I wasn't just dicking around in it, but I was playing it. It was really fun. Uh, the sixth one, which was okay, not not my favorite, but then the seventh one I had on my PlayStation Three. Oh no, that one was garbage. Oh, no. terrible, terrible game. Back to PlayStation Two, all the sports games. Well, I shouldn't say all. I should say NASCAR and baseball. I don't like really any of the other sport. Besides baseball, baseball has always just resonated with me because I love playing it. I love watching it. It's such a fantastic sport. Um, oh god, I had loads of games. I still I had like over a hundred games for that thing. Well over a hundred. Like I still have some. 
I, I can see Seek and Destroy. I had Cabela games. Um, sp all the Spider-Man games. Spider-Man 3 was um, her t t atrocious on PlayStation 2, my god. It was different, which I appreciate like the difference between that and the PlayStation 3 version. I didn't play the PlayStation 3 version. I watched it being played by um, Liquid Solace 9000. X-Men Origins Wolverine, which was also atrocious. Very different from the Uncaged edition on the PlayStation 3. I do have that. Um, ATV Off-Road Fury, I have that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh... Both of them. I don't have the the um the movie one anymore. By the Jack, the Legend of Jack Sparrow. That was a great game. I love that game. Uh, Harry Potter, X Men, the official game. X Two Wolverine's Revenge, X Men Legends, to X Men Legends Two, Age of Apocalypse, Spider Man Two, fantastic game. Harry Potter again. Sp I have some SpongeBob games. I have a Corvette game. I can't see. It's clipping off. Oh no. But yeah, that's. That's like kind of what's left of my uh, PlayStation 2 games. Shame. I, I'm trying to get some again. I'm trying to get a few again off Amazon. Do that. Have some fun again. Oh god, I love I love PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, man, just the most, just the best system I ever had. Like I have, I have a DS. Play Mario Kart and Mario Bros on that all the time. I remember when I got the uh, Mario Bros on the 3DS. It was someday in summer. I saw a commercial on TV. My sister, me and my sister were like, "Oh my god!" Because we remember playing Mario on uh, like a um, Super Nintendo or something. We had I forget what it was, 64 maybe. I can't remember. But we had it. We played it. It was fun. It really was. And um, so we go to our dad. We're like, "Dad, can we go to the um, Toys R Us and get this?" He's like, "Oh yeah, okay." So we get there. And I asked the guy. Do you have the new Super Mushroom Kingdom? He's like, ah, I don't know what we have that one. I don't know if that didn't come out yet, but we have this one, and it was and it was Super, Super Mario Bros, which was the one I was refer referring to. But you know, I failed to remember the name. That was in 2006. I remember that. I just got my uh, DS in like 2005. It was a gift from my grandfather. Two hundred and fifty-two dollars. He paid for that. I remember. Or was it two fifty-eight? I think it was two fifty-eight. And uh, that was fantastic. What was my um, my successor, or well, I wouldn't call it successor, but I did buy a PlayStation Vita last year for my birthday. Still have it. Still all right with it. Got a few games for it, not many, but I enjoy it. I do. It's all right. The PlayStation Three. Um, got that in like 2010. Still have it. Four years. Or was it five? Was it 2009? I got that. Oh no. I got it with Mon Modern Warfare Two though. I remember that. That was the first game I had on that. The first um. I also had a Wii. 2007, I got a Wii. I had uh, a bunch of games. Mario Kart. I uh, never had a Super Mario Brothers on that go. Super Mario Galaxy. I had some kart racers. Um, Wario Land or whatever the hell it was. Um, Wii Sports. Um, Stewart's. Very good stuff. Excuse me for my fake advertising. <laughs> um, oh god, what else do we have? Oh, uh, God. I can't remember. I don't want to remember. Call of Duty 4 Reflex Edition. That was the first Call of Duty I ever played was the Reflex Edition. And I played the living hell out of it. And I think at the time I never realized I could hook my Wii up to the internet wirelessly and play multiplayer on that. So I didn't play multiplayer, Call of Duty multiplayer, until 2010 when I got Modern Warfare 2 on my PlayStation 3. So I was behind the curveball on that. In a way, I got like all the Call of Duty's coming up from there. Uh, God, loads of games. Love them all. Ground Zeroes, fantastic. I haven't played games that much recently, kind of why I guess I'm talking about it. And we're going to go in 15 minute mark coming up here. Fantastic. Um, so, you know, you got PlayStation 4 coming out, which I do want to get, and I can get a Phantom Pain on that, and that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, some other games. There's still games I want to get on my PlayStation 3 that I haven't got yet. Like, I know I'm gonna get, like, Deadpool. That looks like fun. I don't care. Oh, Captain America, I have that. X Men Origins Wolverine Cage Edition, that's great. Spider Man, Assassin's Creed, all of them, except for, um, Black Flag. Yeah, I think it's just Black Flag I don't have. Because it, after 3, I was just kind of skeptical of the series, which is unfortunate. But, you know. 
I've played a lot of games in my day. I have my computer now. I play PC games on here. Well, forgot that. Now, I, I play a lot of games in my day. I really have. You know what? They've all been damn good. What's the point of this video? I don't know. I'm here. This game talk to you. Because you know what? I can. You know what? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Maybe we should do this again sometime. Until next time, better not cry, better not pout, until I get another goddamn video out. My name's MD. I'll see y'all later. Good night.